Hi! Thanks for tuning in. Today I wanted to do a quick unboxing video of the pieces that I picked up from the recent Gian Battista Valley and H&M collab. I placed my order the day the collection went live on through the online website and I picked up a few pieces and it arrived today. I'm very excited about that. So you can see it came in this massive box here and I thought I would do something a little bit different today. I want to do an unboxing and try to do some mod shots because I know there are probably a lot of questions on like what some of these pieces look like. So I hope you find that helpful. All right, so I'm gonna get on with opening this box and putting the lid aside. All right, so the first item is this dress right here. So this is the long chiffon dress, chiffon like floral dress that has the v-neck in the front like this and the back is a v-neck as well and it is a full floor length dress. I will show what this looks like uh, in a separate cut. I actually have two of those because um, that was my favorite piece from the collection. I wanted to make sure I had the right size. I tend to have a hard time in the sizing department for H&M. I don't know if it's because it's more of a fast fashion brand that's also geared towards like a younger, more like teenager population, but I do find myself having to um, get larger and larger sizes <laughs> for any of the items that I pick up. So I didn't know what size I would be and I didn't want it to be, you know, something that I fell in love with, but the only issue was that the size didn't fit. So I got two of those dresses just in different sizes to try out. Here is the full length maxi dress. This is the floral maxi dress that has a little ribbon detail here and is sleeveless, but it has like the tiered ruffles. I'm going to step back again. So as you can see, it is full, full length. I don't even think you can see my slippers anymore. <laughs> um, and so it is all the way down. I think for me, it is just skimming the floor and I am five, six for reference. Um, this one has a side zipper, so you can do it up by yourself. <laughs> in case that's a important criteria for you and it just looks like this it's a very flowy very like ethereal dress and i mean this in a good way it doesn't necessarily feel like uh it can only be worn for like evening it feels like it's something that you could wear out i mean you could wear this out in the spring you know, out to brunch <laughs> um, or out shopping or really whatever you want. Um, it doesn't, like, if you wanted to wear it to a more special occasion, I think you absolutely can, but I feel like it is versatile enough where you could wear it to not so formal events as well. So you can dress it up and you can dress it down. I mentioned that I got two sizes because I wanted to make sure I was in the right size. I am the, the same size as all of the other items is the same size that fit for this dress. I did not have to size up. That one was too big in the chest area. So this is a winner for me. I think this is a great dress because of its length. I was actually planning on layering like a long sleeve, really um, tight fitting tank top underneath to be able to wear it in the colder months and then uh, wear it as a sleeveless dress when the weather gets warmer. I think the colors in this are not, I'm going to come closer, the colors are not so like summery that you can't wear it for um, cooler months. I think you can you can bring all of the colors into a winter palette when you wear it, pair it with more like black or even like burgundy colors. Uh, there are you know bring the jewel tones in and you can wear this for cooler months and then you can wear bare skin for the spring and summer. And then I also picked up this item here. This is another dress. 
So this is the like floral short dress. Um, it looked really cute on the website and my first impression is I'm not that keen on this fabric, um, but I'm still gonna try it on and, and give it a shot. I'm gonna see what it looks like on as well, but yeah, I'm just like not sold. The chiffon dress has a nice feel to it. The The chiffon is, is very soft, flowy. I'm pretty sure it's polyester, so it's just like that nice polyester feel. Um, this is a lot more, what's the word, stiff and rigid, um, but I will share more thoughts when I try it on because then I can tell you what it feels like on the body. I know my head is like cut off, sorry about that. I'm trying to like come back down so I can still see you guys, but then my face hits like where the time is tracking for the videos anyway so i can't really see everything so uh, i hope you guys can bear with me all right i have worn the black short or like mini dress and i left my bra on i am aware that this is a deep v so i should not be wearing it but uh i just really wanted to quickly try it on um just to get a general sense and so i'll step back again this is what the dress looks like and I'll turn around really quickly so you can see the back. As you might have been able to tell, um, this is not a dress that you can do up by yourself. I was commenting on the fabric when I was pulling out all of the items from the box and I wasn't super impressed at the time for like how stiff it felt. Because of that, there's no stretch in this fabric that for me to be able to like pull the zipper all the way up. So this is a dress that you would need some assistance to fully put on. I used to travel a lot for work and so that was one of the criterias for getting dresses. Like, can I do it up myself? Because there's no one to help me on a business trip. I'm on my own for that. So that's just something to note. Um, the stiff fabric, I'm gonna stand back up. The stiff fabric actually lays much nicer on the body. It's not that it's itchy or scratchy or anything. I just thought it would feel more, you know how like there's cotton and then there's like Jersey and how much softer Jersey is. I just thought it would have a more soft feel to it, uh, but it is actually a little more like rigid, you know, and um, it's a little more of a stiff fabric that I think has the potential to crease. It's like an optimal material to have a lot of embroidery on. So I'm pretty sure that's why they used it. Uh, I'll move my hair back so you can see the neckline here uh, and the ruffles. I actually, I really like this skirt. Uh, this skirt. I really like this dress. Uh, this dress is something that I'm, I'm feeling like was a good purchase and is an item that is a little more statement than, you know, like a simple black dress or something like that, but is still like in a colorway with some pattern that isn't too too loud that everyone will remember if you, even if you only wear it once. And then the last piece I picked up is this red top actually. So let me open it up really quickly. I was on the website. I actually didn't know this existed until I was on the website about to place my order and I took a quick browse. And this just looked like it was a pretty top and nice and flowy. So I thought I would give it a try. I like, I'm, I'm just in love with like poofy or balloon sleeves and ruffles are always flattering. At least I find them flattering on my body type. And I, I feel like I carry more weight in the upper half of my body than the lower half of my body. So I wanted to try this out. I thought it would be great for just wearing to work or just having like a nice blouse. Um, in your wardrobe. All right, so I tried on the red blouse. This is a silk blouse. And um, so you can see the ruffled detail and it's a little wrinkled all over. Um, and it's pretty sheer. I, I'm wearing a black bra and I'm just wearing some leggings. I'll step back so you can see and just my house slippers. So this outfit doesn't really go, but so you can see the whole, um, blouse and I'll move my hair back so you can see how the ruffles look and 
it's really sheer. I'm just wearing some leggings, like I said, so you can definitely see like how much comes through. Accounting for the fact that it's really wrinkled because it just came out of a box, I'm trying to see um, whether I like this style. And I'm not really sold on it, to be honest. Let me know what you think down below. Um, but it feels pretty good. It feels nice. Um, it feels like silk, but I can't say that I feel like, you know, the whole design is really coming off and giving me that uh, really like feminine and luxurious feel. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not overly impressed by this. I guess that's what I'm saying. You may notice that I don't have the infamous tulle dresses in my haul. I did have the opportunity to add them to my cart. It's not like I was on the website and they were all sold out. I could have purchased them and I'm not going to lie. I thought about it for a solid minute. I was like, oh, like this is, they're available. Like maybe I should get them. But I caught myself getting all wrapped up in the hype of everything. I was like, look, I'm already placing an order for some items because this collection is pretty hyped up and I didn't want to miss out, but I don't have to buy into the hype anymore by getting a dress that I know I'm not going to wear. Like, it would look beautiful in a photo, I'm sure. I could probably find a location, take a photo, and feel like a princess for like 10 minutes, but like, is that really worth the $500 it's going to cost when it's going to sit in my closet afterwards? Probably not. I even thought, oh, what if I bought it and left it in my closet? I'm sure there will be an event eventually in my life where I can benefit from that dress. But I felt like that is so iconic and part of this collab that you would, it, even in a couple of years, other people might recognize that it was part of this collab. And I just, I just didn't need that kind of, you know, oh, that's the H&M dress. Um, I know it's going to be all over social media now because the collection just launched now and you know, once it's like gone through its cycle on social media, like it'll, it'll be gone. So I decided not to spend my money on a dress that is really iconic. I wanted to focus on some pieces that I think would have more longevity in my closet. They would, you know, they are these special collab pieces. They are still, um, like you might still remember they're part of this collab, but I, f I feel like they have more classic elements to them where they would last um, a lot longer. They're not at so, so statement that uh, you wear it once and you feel like you've run out of opportunities to wear it. All right, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little unboxing video. I wanted to do a, something a little bit different where I didn't just show you the items, but I also showed you them on and also some of my first impressions. I think it helps when you hear other people talk through why they like something or why they don't like something that, you know, it gives you some pointers on what to look out for when you're shopping. So with the last few remaining seconds of sunlight I have, I'm going to summarize the three pieces that I picked up from this collection. This blouse, I think, is a pass in my books. I, I don't think you absolutely have to have it. I get that it's silk, but it's super see-through, so you're going to have to wear something underneath or wear nude, wear a nude bra and like not mind the fact that you can kind of see through it. So for, for the price, I think there are other blouses that you can get that are easier to incorporate and things like that, that are less fuss basically. So this one is a no-no for me. So the next item is this black mini dress. And I think this is a great piece. When I first saw the lookbook online and I saw some of the dress designs, I wasn't really keen on this one, to be honest. I thought it looked a little too sweet with like polka dots and these uh, embroidered flowers. Oh, and the ruffles on the side. Like I just thought maybe too many sweet elements are in the same dress, but I recognize that this deep V makes it a little more sexy and it is a shorter length. So I actually am really glad I picked this one up. I think it looks much better on the body than it does um, just like looking at it and then also just touching it because like I said this the fabric was not quite what I thought it would be uh, but it does work well on this particular dress and I do think the the shape of the dress comes alive 
with this stiffer fabric. This black one has a lining as well. Not so much on the top half, but there is a lining underneath in the skirt area. So that also helps make it not as see-through. And then lastly would be this dress, this maxi floral dress that I have on right now. I think actually this is my favorite piece. It was from the beginning which is why I got two dresses in a different size just to make sure I could get the right size and I think this piece will be able to be worn in a lot of different ways throughout the seasons and throughout the years it's not a heavily um, trendy piece there are some trendy elements the length in particular because uh, the the dress hems have been getting longer and longer in recent years but Floral patterns will always exist, right? Ruffles will always exist. So it's not exactly a piece that I feel like, you know, next year this time I'm gonna feel like I can't wear it at all. It feels really nice. This one is lined underneath as well, which is definitely helps in the see-through department. So I'll show you here. There is a full lining that goes all the way down to the bottom, which is very helpful. Um, and so I can't recommend this piece enough. All right, so that's everything that I hope you enjoyed this quick unboxing video and uh, liked the mod shots. I know it's not the best setup because my head gets cut off, but I live in a small apartment and I don't have a lot of like blank wall space to really use. Uh, so I'll continue to experiment with different areas and things like that. But let me know if you liked seeing those mod shots and first imp and like talking through the first impressions. If you picked up any pieces from this collaboration, I'd love to know which ones you picked up and which ones you feel like were definite keepers. Of course, I shared my rationale for why I chose not to pick up at either of the tool dresses from this specific collaboration. That's not to offend anybody who did. If you love that piece and that's definitely what you wanted to go for, I'm happy for you. I just wanted to be really honest in my thought process because I felt like I was already getting wrapped up in the hype and picking up extra things that I didn't originally plan on that I wanted to make sure, you know, we all stay focused on what we want and why we want them and not necessarily because we think you know this is the thing that i have to have right now i almost bought it i really almost did but i feel like i i feel much better that i didn't necessarily pick it up it gave the opportunity for someone else who really wanted it to be able to get it and it wouldn't have been money that's just sitting in my closet so if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them down below or head on over to Instagram and I'd be happy to help however I can. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate all of your feedback and support. If you like this kind of content, I post new videos every Sunday. So if you'd like to be one of the first to know, feel free to subscribe. Oh yeah, I have a giveaway that is still open, but it is ending this week. I will link the video up here so that you can check out the steps in case you would like to enter it's all just about celebrating the little community that is growing here and I just love being able to communicate with all of you guys so it's just a little token of my appreciation it's nothing super crazy I wish it could be but uh, you know maybe in the future it can get there so until next time